All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do a 4v4 on the map Yucatan between me and the viewers. You guys in the chat can't make up your mind on what you want me to play. Uh, some people want me to play goths, some people don't want me to play goths. Eh, maybe it would be a little unfair if I did that, so I think I'm going to go with the Japanese yes. this game. Really, you guys just seem to want to see infantry, and I'm, I'm down for infantry. I could have gone some Viking Berserks, perhaps, you know, Goths Infantry Spam. Everyone's suggesting Infantry Civs, I've seen the Slavs suggested, so I'll go with the Japanese this time. I will play all those Civs eventually. Every time I go for Viking Berserkers, I get destroyed, so maybe this game... I'm gonna roll with the Japanese, so... Alright, we'll see how this goes. Uh, one of the things that really piques my interest about the Japanese is this Yasama technology, which... I've sort of gotten to put to reasonable use, but um, I would like to experiment a little bit more with that, perhaps before African Kingdoms comes out. Let's go with Japanese, in honor of Spirit of the Law. Saracen's also on the to-do list. There are a lot of civs I want to play. And that just goes to show how good of a game Age of Empires 2 is when I see such a wide variety of suggested civs. Now, into the game itself. I don't usually do a lot of Yucatan on my live stream, mostly because Yucatan is a map that sometimes gets generated a little strangely. There can be such a minimal amount of like a land choke point between the two teams, and it can be like on only one side of your team. So it's not always the most fun map in the universe, and it looks like Gobble Gobble. Furious Trombone is furiously lagging. That was a bit Whoa! Redo Rejoin Lobby. Whoa, Nelly boys, out of sync detected! Welcome to Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. The hell? Did you guys see it? Did you guys see it turn to like mini AOE there for a minute? Did you guys see the little little shrink? Because I saw that. Gonna upload that out of sync report so the devs won't look at it. And, uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> let's, let's do this again. Uh, name lobby is uh, don't join, but obviously if you're in the last game, join in here. I might just leave this in and not edit it out for comedic effect. You can only skip ahead about a minute or so and we'll be in the game. Might just leave it in there. Is that what I get for switching Civs away from the Goths? Because everyone's like, Goths OP, it's about time, Resonance, that you get to handle the Huskarls instead of getting handled by them. And then everyone's like, no, 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 Goths too OP, you know, don't, don't play Goths. <laughs> it's so reliable unless I'm streaming it to Soji Kash. Murphy's Law. <laughs> Japanese ping rush? Wushel cats, that doesn't sound fair. Although, call me Hayden. You actually can't, Mr. Yes. Wetpants. You actually cannot put a password on your AV2 game. However, that is one of my most requested features. I would love that. Get goths? I don't know, man. Everyone's complaining. They're like, like I'm going to riot if you play goths. I don't want to riot. No, you can kind of fight the goths as Japanese. I mean... Oh, wait, oh, sorry, I misread that. Yes, you can fight the Goths as Japanese. Yes, you can. Now, who am I missing? Am I missing Assassin? Is he not coming back? Because if he's not, it's going to be sad. Yeah, something like that, Pete. Perhaps. Fast Castle Agent to Guard Towers. <laughs> I'm doing Japanese this game, guys. Um, soon, Schmupster, but I've been very busy with a bunch of projects on the side, celebrating that 20k subs and stuff, so it's coming soon. Be a little bit light on the content, but then I'm going to just, you know, sort of machine gun out a bunch of content while I'm at BlizzCon. So around November 5th, when African Kingdoms comes out, I'm just going to machine gun it. You're going to get so much content. So much content, Schmupster, that you're going to be, like, drowning in AOE videos. You're going to be, Rez, stop! Stop uploading! I can't watch all this! And you're going to have to take it. <laughs> now, is Assassin coming back, or is his internet completely dead? Because that's going to make me sad. Werewolf tribes are pretty good, too. Is he dead? Come on, man! Oh, yes! Yes! Let's do it! Let's do it! Fast castle into guard towers? Well, we'll see how... We'll see how the teams look. Uh, trombone. Team question mark. Please? Okay, good. Let's do this! Round two. I want the Vikings too, James the Abyss, but I've played the Vikings recently, and I got destroyed every single time, so I will do more Vikings, I will make a Berserker Rush work sometime between now and um, 
the next 100 years. It will happen. I will keep trying it. I will keep trying it, James. I'll do it for you. We'll call it the James the Abyss Rush. Fast Castle into James. It will happen. But either way, you guys got your infantry, you got your champions, and I guess I'm in the pocket now, so I can go play my little farming simulator as much as I want in peace without having to worry about getting raided, except I'll probably get raided incredibly heavily in the pocket anyway. But that's besides the point. I'm allowed to have my PJ salt. Detool says, African Kingdoms. Presence 22 videos, I'm absolutely giddy. Who needs Star Wars anyway? Indeed. But uh, another Star Wars is certainly welcome. Samurai do wreck, uh, wreck house girls, yes, but... Is there even a goth in this game? There's always a... Always a goth. <sighs> Lord Bentner. You were supposed to bring balance to the teams, not destroy it. You were the chosen one! Ah, it's always goths. Someone's always goths. <laughs> the joke is, is that in almost all of my... In almost all of my videos. Not almost all of them, but... A good chunk of the matches... I'm having a good game, I'm getting there, I'm on my way to that endgame fantasy, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, the goths come to rain on my parade. It happens a lot, so. I'm a little paranoid. A little paranoid, but this time, I've got the secret weapon. I've got Yasama, and I have, you know, samurais and everything. I've got the tools that I need to take down the goths' menace, I think. I've not seen the new trailer for Star Wars The Black Winds, but I should definitely check it out. I'm looking forward to uh, watching it for sure. The fun, yeah. The goths are essentially the fun police, right? You know, you're here having fun with the little archers and your bows, which is so cute. And the goths come and they just slap the bow out of your hand. They're like the playground bullies. Like, oh, you're having fun? You're having fun? Well, not anymore. That is, unless you're like the Aztecs or something like that and you just have an army of Jaguar warriors. They're probably going to be just a okay. Just Peachy, did you see that force drop off? Because I saw it, and that made me sad. What? Okay. Probably misclicked. Like I said, guys, half of the half of the Age of Empires 2 experience is fighting not your opponents, but your dumbass villagers. Why can she not get on that turkey? What? Okay. Whatever, man. You do what you want. She just decided you know, she wants her own turkey, and that's fine, I guess. Thanksgiving is coming up. Ghost Doll God Slayer says, Ray, I need to be a pro commentator. Well, thank you. I'm very flattered. Um, I have done a lot of expert commentaries, and there are a lot more on the way. And in fact, tomorrow I'll be co casting with none other than Zero Empires himself for the Empire Collective Cup Grand Finals. You can find them in the schedule below. But if you ever watch this on YouTube, if I do upload this, that probably already happened. You can likely find the VODs on Zach's channel. Extra turkeys. I, I like Yucatan as a map a lot. I just find that sometimes the map is like unfair and that only one of your flanks has an entrance to the opposing team and then he gets all the pressure and that's no fun. So it's a map that I have a love-hate relationship with Yucatan. I'm not sure if I'll be getting Fallout 4 or Christianitron. I am... um. I never really played that much Fallout. I know it's an amazing game series, but I just never played that much Fallout. So honestly, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. That doesn't mean it's not a good game. Now I'm trying to check how much food, there we go. So difficult. <laughs> doesn't mean it's not a good game. I just usually like, I mostly play multiplayer games so that I can play with my friends because I'm generally quite busy and I like to, you know, use games as a way to just spend a little bit of extra time with my friends. I thought that was a turkey. That's actually a man. All right. Waka Flock is a man. Okay, well, that's uh, that's just unfortunate. Is that a song or a band? It's not a turkey. It sucks. <laughs> He's just sitting underneath underneath my town center, being like gobble gobble. He had me fooled. He did. Tricked me. It's a wily one. Ah, uh, I guess I'll sign them all over there. I mean, either way, they're gonna get bunched up on top of each other. I'm okay with that. Uh, Yucatan is like a somewhat hybrid between Black Forest and Arabia in terms of like forest distribution. Like there's, it's easy enough to wall up. Uh, there's a lot of extra food resources on it. Certainly an amazing map for the Mongols for sure. Yeah, 91 era, right? We'll definitely do a lot more content with Zach. Some viewer games or something like that. Like, 
I enjoy doing it at every opportunity. It's just difficult. We're both busy, and sometimes, you know, it can be between time zones. It can be hard to, you know, schedule games and whatnot. But we try our best, and there will be more on the way. There should be a lot of, um, you know, co-commentary stuff coming with African Kingdoms for sure. I'm gonna be bugging the crap out of them. I really want to just, ah, uh, play the new civilizations uh, in a big old viewer game with Zag. It'd be really fun. Get to cheese them with all sorts of, uh, whatever the Ethiopians and Malians get. Whatever they get, it's gonna be awesome. I'll, I'll rush them with whatever those unique units are. Hit them up with some demo wraps. Gobble, gobble. Well, Alpha, uh, I mean, I'm not a big fan of first-person shooters in general, but a first-person AOE game, I don't know what that would even be like. But I would probably play it for the novelty. I mean, I, I tried that, like, there's like a first-person Warcraft 3 map where you're like Dwarven Sniper, and it was like a shitty Doom. That was pretty funny. But uh, I'm not actually a big FPS guy. I did play a lot of Modern Warfare 2, but that was, like, mostly an ironic thing. Again, because a lot of my friends played it at the time, and... You know, if you wanted to be cool in high school, you played Call of Duty, because everyone played Call of Duty. Halo 3 was a game I liked a lot, though, and, and that is, like... Actually serious. I'm not really looking for more, I guess, oldish strategy games, Pete. I'm looking for a new, shiny, modern strategy game. I did not play Warcraft 2, uh, Bad Donkey, but I did play a lot of Warcraft 3. I just didn't have that game as a kid, so... The campaigns are voice acted, guys, for African Kingdoms. They're voice acted in English only. Don't hold your breath, I doubt I'm winning that voice acting competition. <laughs> I doubt it. Um, I'm sure that whoever does win it, though, will have an awesome entry. I'll uh, play my entry for you guys at some point. I think there was a closer gold mine to me, but I didn't find it yet. Because I scout in a particularly odd pattern. Wow, my feudal time is going to suck. Thank you, Assassin, for the love tap. I, I always make an extra bill, don't I? Trying to protect these turkeys, because I know Assassin is hungry. He wants to steal some, but he can't have any of them. Those are mine. Jerk. <laughs> Made an extra bill. Could have gone up on 27, but you know. Still haven't found my main gold, as I was trying to escort those turkeys. Halo 3, Halo 2. I love all the Halo games, though I haven't played all of the new ones. The last one I played was Reach. I have not seen For Honor. Uh, 91 error. One of the games I'm looking forward to the most is potentially Project Atlas. I have a lot of, uh, I have high hopes for that game. I hope it's good. Where in, where is my main gold mine? What? A what? Oh, Puppycock, what, what is, what is this? Is it, is it in there? That is preposterous. Where is my main gold? All right, assassin, you jerkwad. I see what's up. See what's up? My boy Assassin's trying to cheese me and uh, lame my gold miners. I got you. I got you, Assassin. I know. I know what you're about. I know what you're selling. I'm not interested. He's gonna get it too. I hate people who do this, but you know, all's fair in love and war, I guess. But you're going down, Assassin. Assassin dies first. <laughs> it's laming. It's frowned upon, but it's it's within the. It's not against the rules. I don't like it. But it's not against the rules. However, he dies first. We're coming for you, man. Coming for you. Oh, where do I want this? I don't even know. I'm just building it right there. I haven't played that much Total War 1 Grumpy Santa. I I've played, like... I played a lot of handheld games, but in terms of PC games, I basically just played whatever my dad or brother owned. Um, I never really bought that many games as a kid. But I did play, like, a lot of, like, Game Boy Advance and stuff. Game Boy Color. See, oh my god, have a good one. Or night, whatever, yeah. <laughs> Warcraft 4 would be badass, bad donkey. I'll let you guys know if they say anything at BlizzCon about a new Warcraft game. Because that would be really... That would get me excited. I actually did like Starcraft 2, but I felt the Blizzard took... This is my personal opinion. I mean, I was bad. So just as a, as a bad casual player, as your filthy gold scum, I just thought that Blizzard didn't actually... I thought that they released like the content like so slowly for the game, they just didn't... They didn't support the scene enough, and they didn't, um, didn't 
really balance it that much. I mean, they did, but they just left so much broken crap in there for so long. Kind of killed my hype. I meant to say poppycock, but, you know, I'm not... I don't know. <laughs> Mass wall strategy? Not that often. Uh, formation. I like to take my fights straight up. Well, I'm in the pocket, so my dreams of going for some sort of weird Yasama guard tower push are... Ah, oh, whatever. We'll try it. I'll try something like that. Drop some towers and some people. I don't know. Go for some sort of delayed guard tower action. Maybe I'll tower my own base. Maybe I'll tower my opponents. Maybe I'll tower assassin. That'll learn them. I know the black winds. Well, I would rather them take their sweet time with someone like Warcraft 4 rather than disappoint me by doing a bad job and just putting it out there. I will be playing Overwatch. I'll play a lot of Overwatch. Monster. I'm not a big FPS guy, but... This one seems something a little bit more up my alley. At least I'm going to try it and see if it's good. I don't know their toy, but I think that Blizzard has had a whole suite of good games recently. I think that I don't hold myself loyal to like one specific genre of anything. Like my my philosophy is I just play good games and oh my god, if I get laid by one more skip. <laughs> I wouldn't mind this as much if it was like a 1v1 or something or I was playing an old AOC, but in HD in my, like, weird mind, it's almost an exploit, because there's, uh, there's enough, like, delay in these 4v4 stream games that it's, like, impossible for me to actually react, uh, to that in time. There's no counterplay! So anyway, yeah, I just play, I just play good games. I don't care what genre it is. Snail Simulator or whatever. If it's a good game, it's a good game, and I play it. And I, I do believe that, I think they did a great job with something like Heroes of the Storm. I really enjoyed playing it. I think Blizzard has done a much better job balancing the game, communicating with the community, and just being awesome. Um, I think Hearthstone's fun. They're not doing a very good job balancing it, but it's fun. <laughs> StarCraft 2 is fun, but again, yeah. I don't know. Diablo 3 is better now, but I didn't play that much of it. I got my eyes peeled. Overwatch looks good. I have faith. I think, I think that they've done a great job with HOTS. It might not be the game for you, but I think that they're really trying. And it actually shows. There's some Blizzard tender love and care in there. There's some TLC somewhere. Like, they are actually trying to actively balance the game and communicate. It's bizarre for Blizzard. I like it. They should keep doing that. In fact... You know what I'm gonna do? Fuck, as soon as I get some wood. Or resources or something. I'm just gonna pull these three villagers and I'm just gonna drop a guard tower or something. I can't do that unless I get a castle. Okay, so I'll have to keep mining stone then. Because I'll need a castle to get Yasama, otherwise my towers aren't going to do anything. What's this? Some weird work of modern art that Furious Trombone is working on over there. Fascinating. Seed workshop, okay. Meh. Like, I don't, I don't really, I don't really, like, believe in this MOBA war or whatever. Alright, there, there are two silly things that I think go on in just the general competitive gaming community that make no sense to me. All this competition between MOBA games and RTS games, where people tell me that, like, ah, oh, fuck MOBAs, you know, like, they replaced, they replaced competitive RTS games, like, they are not the evolution of RTS games in my mind at all. And I really don't think that's fair to say. I think it's just coincidental that MOBAs became popular at the same time that competitive RTS has kind of died out, and I'm a firm believer that the reason why we don't see that much of a competitive scene for most RTS games nowadays, I mean, we still do, but not as much as we did at one point, was because there just hasn't been a good RTS game released in so long. It really says something to me when Brood War is more popular than StarCraft 2. And I'm not saying StarCraft 2 is bad, I'm just saying it must not have lived up to a lot of people's expectations, because I think StarCraft 2 is. I think if there's a truly great RTS game, like on the level of quality of AoE 2, people will come. So one, I, I firmly do not believe that um, MOBAs are like a replacement for AoE. I don't think there's like, a, or just like RTSs. I don't think there's actually a real competition there. I also don't believe in the competition between um, MOBA games. Really, I just play what's good. So like, there are a lot of people who will be like, you know, Dota Master Race or League of Legends Master Race. Um, I don't think it makes you a heretic or like the worst person in the universe if you just play both. I just play what's good and what my friends are playing. I, I just don't care. And I think people should care less too. Play what you think is fun, and enjoy yourself, and then get housed. What you should do is just talk about MOBA games, get housed, build three nights, and just, just go. Just go. Go and get, uh, hand cart at 45 pop. That's fine, right? 
All right, well, now now I don't need to get hand curved because now my houses are done. <laughs> All right, game, I see how it is. Nice try. No, I think MOBAs are a genre. I don't know. I, like, I don't. I don't get. I never understood. I never understood the salt. I guess. Same thing with like back in my day, back when I was in high school and middle school. It was all about Call of Duty versus Halo. I don't get that. You know what? You know what I think the real competition is: good games versus bad games. And not all games need to be for you. Just play what's fun. I never understood that superficial crap. Uh, I I didn't think that I would like a lot of the MOBAs at first, but I've learned to appreciate them, and I think they're fun. I just see them for what they are, fun, silly games. I like a lot of people were outraged at uh, Modern Warfare 2. I thought that was hilarious. I think it's one of the most fun games I've ever played. I just think people took it too seriously. <laughs> Come on, man. How many how many FPS games have you played where you can, like, blink strike onto people? It was like World of Warcraft, the first-person shooter game. It was sick. It was sick, dude. You could blink strike onto people, like... Oh my god, like the teleport? Wow. You see in the kill cam, that guy just like jumps like 10 feet onto you out of nowhere. He just appears next to you and he knifes you. To me, shit like that's hilarious. New tubing, like I had, oh my god. It was almost like, to me, I, I considered it some sort of twisted like social commentary on uh, first person shooters or something like that. I thought it was funny. I just didn't take it too seriously, you know, I was like, oh, this game is so bad. I was like, this game is hilarious. <laughs> this game's amazing. Same thing with RuneScape. I never took it that seriously, but I had a blast with it. So that's the way I look at it, man. My philosophy in life is to just have fun and play good games. Whatever you like. I like Dota. I like League of Legends. I like HOTS. I think Smite's fun. I think, oh, I think pikemen are fucking the worst thing in the universe. Why does he have so many pikemen? Did he know I was just parked there? Alright, alright, Lord Benther. <laughs> He's got the fun police are out in full force. Shit, are the teams stacked or something? I need to get into yellow. How do I get into yellow? Or I'll have to run through here. This is why I hate this map. Because I have to, uh, have to run around in all sorts of weird locations. But what I'm going to do... I think what I'm going to do... Oh my god. Make some samurai. That'll learn this guy. So yeah, that was my little rant. Hopefully you found it inspiring in some way, or you just laughed a little bit. Let's play what's good. I don't believe in, like, alliances with games, allegiances. It doesn't make you a traitor if you played WoW to, like, play Guild Wars and like it, for example. Or vice versa. Play what's for you. Uh, hopefully if you play a game, you have a main gold mine. I think I found mine, by the way. I do need a university. I will put down a bunch of towers, but I think I need to open up with uh, something that doesn't get wrecked by goths. You can just make like one huskarl, and then all my well, then all my towers just kind of disappear. But I will, I will bring some up. Gonna run past this bad boy. That's so many pikemen. Who opens up that many pikemen besides me? Check out this samurai creation speed, by the way. And you want to know why uh, Spirit of the Law likes the civilization so much? There are many reasons, but one of the reasons is that samurai are just badass. Not only are they powerful in combat, but they spawn just like that. Just add water and you have an army. Smite's not an RTS game. It's a, it's a MOBA game. I don't know. I feel like you should never get salty over a, uh... over, like, just people enjoying another game, I guess. Because there's, like, there's so, there's, like, so many, uh... You know, like, when I would go to, like, the... Yeah, you know, I went to the Dota International and then, like... All these like League of Legends players like circle jerking over what's better, the LCS or the International, and then vice versa, and all the Dota Master Ace people. I never really understood that. I never really understood that. But what I do understand is that Samurai are the bee's knees, and I need more of them. In fact, you need another town center as well. Alright, well, coming for Lord Benther, uh, I'm going to send in some army of samurai. That'll learn him. <laughs> he has an awful lot of spearmen, but I have samurai. I fear nothing. Oh, 
Wait, what? Where am I under attack? Gotcha. Uh, Res to Byzantines and Teutons counter Japanese. Um, I would say that really besides this couple interesting novel cases, like the Mayans versus Goths, where the Goths just kind of destroy the Mayans, um, really, like, it's not even that black and white. Like, there's really... Civs don't counter other Civs, usually. Almost all Civs have a situation in which they can just do something, uh, where they can just deal with the opposing Civ. And there are situations, of course, where... I don't know, you're the Mongols, sorry, you're the, you're the Mayans, right? And if the game drags on against the Goths, you're almost entirely screwed. You don't have a reliable answer to Huskarls, but generally most Civs have an answer to something. Same thing with like the Huns versus Goths in Super League games. Really just the Things versus Goths. So no, the Japanese have tools of dealing with whatever. Um, like I can deal with uh, you know, Byzantine Cataphracts, for example, by making some hand cannoneers. And my halberd ears are still reasonable as a meat shield in that situation, so it's fine. I would like to actually bring some vills forward here. So I'm going to go do that and uh, drop one of them towers. Yeah, check this out. That'll put the pressure on. We're putting them on a clock. Yasama's awfully expensive for what it is. It's awfully expensive. But Yasama is a technology that sounds so bad. Like, what is this, like? Your towers shoot extra arrows. It sounds so unbelievably bad, but I swear to God. I swear to God, it's actually good. In fact, it makes keeps and guard towers legitimately scary. There's still keeps and guard towers. And this upgrade's a little expensive, but the effect is actually very powerful. And it's basically exactly what guard towers and keeps need to not suck. It's not bad. It's not bad. Every Civ has basically a time and place on, like, a map or something like that. Team games, Flank Pocket, you know, Black Forest, Arabia. Every Civ shines and sucks in some cases. But most matchups are winnable by most people. I would say, you know, something like the Koreans versus Huns is usually quite bad just because... Not because, like, the Koreans have no answer to the Huns, but mostly because the Huns are too fast for the Korean slow early game. But in the late game, the tables actually completely flip. So it's, uh, it's an interesting development for sure. I wouldn't think of Civs usually in terms of counters. But of course, you know, in the super late game as well, you know, the Saracens can do very well against the Huns, but the Huns will usually kill the Saracens before that becomes a problem. Generally. Put a castle there. Hatevas. Go here, go here. Um, I want Yasama. That thing is so expensive. Is my guard tower done? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Check this out, guys. He gets no more walls on the other side of that. Also, your palisades can't hold me. Feel the hatred of 10,000 samurai. These guys spawn so fast. So do Teutonic Knights, by the way. What we're going to do is we're going to kill Lord Benthners. Um, we're going to kill his villager, and then we're just going to leave. That'll scare him. Really confuse him. He won't see it coming at all. My real fear is Angel's Envy, but it looks like the teams are not entirely balanced. I don't know what happened here. They... Philtopia is a scary dude with a couple long swordsmen. He's not messing around. Serious business. Gonna get him. Well, it just goes to show that players' ratings don't mean everything. You never know. Uh, Schmuster asked what time is it where I am, and it is approximately like 5.02, something like that. Something close to that. The Slyker asking you to recommend me Italians as a defensive and trading player. To a degree. Uh, you might find that the Spanish or something are a little bit more up your alley for that, but the Italians are fun, and they're fine. Uh, certainly once African Kingdoms comes out, I think the Italians are slated for a couple of good little buffs there, and I think that will help them a lot. They just need, like, a little bit of something. I, I've suggested this before to the devs, but I would like to see Hussar. Just give the Italians Hussar, and that would be great. So hopefully they get something like that. Just, like, really, I think, like, mostly what the Indians need is just guilds. Just give them a couple a uh, couple little techs. Um, the Incas need things like block printing, I think, and that would be real, real nice. Give him block printing and thumb ring, and you've got you've got my attention. I clicked Imperial Age. 
You almost got me that one time, AoE. Nice try, nice try. But Resonance wasn't born yesterday, not with those wrinkles. I turned 21 recently. I know all about this. I know about your, your tricks. Oh shit, Mangadai still have an attack bonus versus Rams. Alright. Not a steward. Go over there. When I need ballistics. So how am I going to get through this? Starts with manganelling down that one vill. Look at this. These are they're like mini castles. Turks need imperial camels. I don't know about that angry goat. That might be crazy. I think I, I like imperial camels as a sort of unique thing to make up for the fact that the Indians don't have knights. And I think it, I think it does balance out. I think it's actually fair. Oh, those are our guys. Sick. I like that we're actually giving them a chance by not just killing them right now. I like that. I also like how- see, see what I mean? It's like so hard to actually get to Furious Trombone. Like, the real threat is like Assassin and Angel Envy. And at some points, check this out. Look at those- look at that damage. The Mangonel normally resists the shots of a watchtower quite nicely, but I fire so many arrows that I'm doing one, 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 rather than just one. <laughs> Which when I put it that way, you're like, Rez, that sounds like it still sucks. Maybe. Maybe. But it's a lot more satisfying to use. Oh, Jaguars. God, whoa, three! A oh, nice try, though. I do it with love. I am only sending hugs. Let's uh, sell some resources, I think. Rebalance that sucker. Purple's gonna need some back up, and it's gonna need a lot more than. It's gonna be more than paladins, I think. Look at this fear. Look at him sitting away from my guard tower line. How do I break that line? You can't. You can't break that line. The only solution is to resign. Alright, now that I'm imp, I want Elite Spammerai. Oh, yeah, that's what I could call the strategy Elite Spammerai. Don't get bombard towers. Wow, keep is expensive again for what it does. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna send an email or leave a post on the Steam community forum or something like that. I think we can chop a hundred food cost off of keep. And I cannot imagine a situation in which that would break anything. It's like just it's a little just little numbers. Little things like that. I cannot imagine a world where keep is OP because it costs like a hundred less. I can't see that. Just build another one of these? Or do I just get in there? I'm doing it, dude. Okay, I should probably also send a treb or something. Not bad. Trying to defend up there. I should. I, I need some trebs. I do. I get that. Uh, I feel like I've been mispronouncing this technology for the last three thousand years. I always keep calling it Cataparuda, but I know that's not correct. Someone told me how to pronounce it correctly, but I think I actually forgot. Again, guys, I'm getting old. I turned twenty-one on September first, so. Whew. <laughs> you know me, memory not so good. Oh wow, I'm actually in. See, look at that, dude. Like I'm doing one, one, one. To the to the walls now instead of just one. <laughs> Who needs trebuchets when you have guard towers? Said nobody ever. Do you have to walk an awfully far distance? Now I get the feeling that my gather points just don't update for some reason. Even though I've selected all of them, right? And you see me right right click over there, so it should move the gather points for all of them. But it didn't, and that scares me. Okay, so we just get some more of those. I think I actually want to buy some stone. Yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I needed those upgrades, didn't I? I want to buy some stone. I would like to actually build a, build a castle a little bit closer to the front line. This is why the Japanese are so good. Love the Japanese. Let me just get in here. You know how you deal with Mangadai? You kill him. 
exactly like we sold. You just make a you make samurai. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. The other points keep you up at night. Yeah. My graphics seem off today. Really, Castle Crash? Oh, okay, for you. He says, never mind, it's all good now. Let me know, by the way, if you think anything is a little bit weird about my overlays or something, or my Twitch setting. Sometimes OBS resets a few things here or there, so you never know. Check this out. The only thing scarier than capped rams is capped rams with samurai in them. Look how fast these guys spawn. I mean, normally I would feel really bad having to walk my units across the entire map like so, and I do feel kind of bad doing that, but... You know, it's better. It's better when you're the Japanese. I mean, you can do the same thing with the Teutons. They spawn really quickly, but they also move real slow. Do I need to actually get any other upgrades this game? My body is telling me no. Don't need it. Still feel like I, my economy sucks, though. Like, I'm not able to sustain unit production, which means that I must not have enough villagers, so... What's going on over here? What? Oh, shit! Is he, is he aware of this? Oh god. Alright, I'll send some uh, I'll send some moral support. Is he even aware that that's happening? Not even sure. Alright, well that little army should do the trick. I'll send some reinforcements over here. It looks like I've actually been repelled. So I'm going to sit back. Well, actually maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not done yet. Yeah, I'll have to probably make a couple pikemen. Maybe I need to move the watchtower line forward. Not so sure. This gold is difficult to saturate based on how it's oddly positioned. Alright, now that I've pulled off some samurai, my teammates have figured it out, so... <laughs> they don't need me anymore, so I'm gonna go back to the battlefield. Keep spamming. Keep calm and spam on. Alright, good night, Ready Teddy. Have a good one. Trading cards are really good, Slycro. Like, they're really, they are really good. Uh, one of the common misconceptions of trading carts, though, with trade carts, is that there's something you want to get out really early. It's generally actually less efficient to rush them out. Uh, you usually want to wait till your gold resources are mostly exhausted. Uh, well, not like exhausted, but they're going to be exhausted soon, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Rather than just rush them out, but they are really crazy. And um, I, I see another equally common mistake uh, compared to rushing them out is just not building enough trading carts and not building them like soon enough too. It's just devastating. Did he delete that market? Because it, oh, this is the real downside of trade carts. When he has to reset my trade line. <laughs> trading carts are amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Oh, unipathing, whoops. Look at this. Mini they're mini castles. One of the interesting things when it comes to game design is how developers often imagine that things will play out significantly differently than they actually do. So for example, with Yasama, I imagine that the idea in mind is that the developers imagine a playstyle like this, where you know, you're you're sort of inching like this line of keeps forward, or maybe they meant for them to be used defensively, I'm not really sure. Whereas keeps just don't see any play. At least the original developers like had a lot bigger aspirations for keeps than are actually used in practice. So, one of my favorite things to do when I play games is just play the game how I imagine the developer like envisioned it. I like to do that in Hearthstone as well, where you know, they give me all those Inspire cards, so I just build a deck with all the Inspire cards in them. <laughs> Obviously it doesn't work out in practice. One of my favorite things to do has been trying to figure out exactly what the developers were thinking when they added uh, Skeleton King. So I'm trying to imagine in what universe is Skeleton King playable. Figuring it out. You know, maybe maybe the idea is that you know you have some Undertakers on the board and you just keep playing Skeleton Skeleton Knights, just buff them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hello mythology. Hello Force Wizard. Happy birthday. It says it's his birthday today. Congratulations, man. For your birthday, I am spamming keeps. Uh, I haven't played much Civ 5, but I probably probably should. You do well played indeed. You guys did great. 
Solid game. Because, like, when I see the pricing of a keep, I imagine that um, a lot of, like, tender love and care wins. This is for, like, original Ensemble Studios, right? 500 food, 300, you know, 300 food. You know, they gave us the, the Britain's tech um, yeoman, which gives, like, extra attack to your keeps. Again, the developers had clearly a different idea of how keeps would be used than they actually were. Same thing with town centers. Uh, it used to be back in the old days, players would just spam, like, forward town centers as the Teutons or something. It was very broken. My Arsene logic is very strange, Mubster, you're correct, but my logic in general is strange. I just have a lot of fun with games being creative. I like to use them as a medium to express myself. Dshot asks, are you still playing Prismata? The answer is yes. However, I am waiting until the game is a little bit further in development and until I have a little bit more free time before I do more content on them. I, I will do more Prismata content as it actually did go over quite nicely. And it's something I would like to explore, but the game is still very early in development. So I'm waiting until uh, it's a little more polished. We have some more game modes and stuff. It's still really, really early. I, I love the game. I think it's incredibly well designed. GG, well played. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. There's the keeps. Not bad. No, 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 no. All that matters is that you... Is that you had fun. I think you did fine. Teams could have been perhaps a little bit better balanced, but it's always difficult to tell based off player ratings, especially when I'm doing something a little bit on the fun side of strategies. Still, though, I thought it was a solid game. Got to live that sort of Japanese fantasy. It's quite nice. Not bad. Buildings lost zero with those four keeps. That's what I like to see. Not bad, not bad. Rock solid. That was game three mythology. <laughs> he did resign. The Goss, the Goss are down. What's an expensive counter to ships? Uh, keeps formation? I mean, I guess, but they still get destroyed by cannon galleons. Clearly something was, like, lost in translation with the original design of, like, keeps and guard towers. Because watchtowers are very good, but keeps and guard towers, especially the keep upgrade, just feels too expensive. I still like playing with it, though. I like to experiment. I think it's important to always keep an open mind with just everything in life. And, you know, just because everybody is, you know... Spamming knights and whatnot doesn't mean you have to. As long as you try your best and you have fun. And who knows, you might discover the next OP thing. Although, if I had to guess, it's not keeps. <laughs> we'll see, though. Maybe the new meta in African Kingdoms involves keeps. Yes, assassin it is. It is because he killed my bill. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle Strem. Um, I don't think I'll do a 1v1 or 2v2 anytime soon. Perhaps after African Kingdoms comes out. But right now, I've been very busy... Preparing for that release day, so that way I can ship a bunch, of, a bunch of content when the game comes out, and then I can go enjoy my time at BlizzCon and leave you guys a bunch of stuff in honor of that 20k subscribers, which I'm so close to. Thank you so much for all the support uh, today, guys, and no problem, D-Tools. Thank you for playing is, uh, and watching. It's uh, it a pleasure. Well, I guess just for watching, right? I, don't, I didn't play with you today, I don't think. Uh, Hadian says, did you know the saboteurs and camels are under the same armor class as ships? Yes, I did know that. I actually think that it sort of balances things out, because uh, the developers clearly, the original developers clearly did not want you to be able to, like camels being a good raiding unit, for example, and they also wanted petards to not just destroy castles and kind of invalidate that. Because the camels are an incredibly dominant raiding unit, and they also counter knights, which were designed to be the dominant raiding unit, then why would you ever make knights? Then the camel sieves just become like mandatory and it becomes an over centralized camel based metagame that sucks. So I actually like that it's that way. Perhaps camels do take too much damage uh, from like castles and arrows and whatnot, but I think it's I think it's a good thing that they take extra. Maybe that value could be adjusted, but I'm just trying to look for a non I don't want it to be oppressive gameplay, if that makes any sense. So I actually like it. Thank you, Christiana Tron. It was fun. It's fun, fun, fun. I do not have all the expansions to Civ 5, Taming a Spyro. I've only played Civ at my friends' houses. It's not something that I I'm, haven't played that much of it, but I probably should. Civ is a bit slow. 
But they're this amazing game series, and it's something I should do more, do more on. I'll do more Galactic Battlegrounds at some point, the Black Winds probably. But it's low on the priority list, we'll see. So anyway, yeah, that's why uh, camels are that way, and uh, onto the game itself, before I go. A couple quick things to cover. For one, notice how many of the threatening players in this game had just a lo large economy. Make lots of villagers, and you too can be strong, strong like, strong like Russian turnip in the dead of winter. Um, basically, you want about half the max population of the game to be villagers, and this is a 300 population game, so you, know, you want about 150. You want to get there as soon as possible, so make sure you keep your town center always working, creating vills, researching, or something, until you hit that goal. Oh, you mean play with you? Okay, that's a lot more reasonable to Blackwinds. I can deliver on that. Um, maybe not today. We'll see. Heart of Thorns just came out, so as soon as I'm done with my homework, I would love to experience some Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so anyway... I'm not sure if I missed anyone's messages. I might have, but I am just going to go end off this match here. Thank you so much for watching today's stream, guys, showing your support, being awesome. I think we have a wonderful community here, and I would love to maintain this. Um, I look forward to the next time that I get to see you guys, and hopefully the next time that I get to see you is tomorrow, which would be, um, I, I keep almost saying August, but I just caught myself there. It's, it's October 24th, Empire Collective Cup Finals. Be there or be square. Calibu, I would love to marry you. And, yeah, as always, guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, I have plenty of other Age of Empires 2 matches on my YouTube page, as well as videos of other games. If you like this one, you'll probably like those as well. If you would like to share your support, one of the best ways you can do it is just leave a like rating on whatever I upload. It helps so much with the exposure, and it takes just a quick second. So don't forget to do that if you'd like to. And, of course, find the live streaming schedule on my Twitch page by just scrolling down the video player there. I also do read all your comments on YouTube, even if I don't get a chance to respond to them individually. Uh, I guess I'll answer one quick question before I head off, but uh, why am I not... Okay, there we go. Let me alt tab. Formation asks, have you ever used trebs against ships? Yes, I have. And sometimes I think it can work if your opponent doesn't have too many uh, cannon galleons. I think it can work if your opponent's like really entrenched in there. I've used it before for sure. I don't think it should be your first answer, but sometimes it, it works out. And hopefully at some point I get to showcase that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lord Benther. All your teammates are all walled up, and that's how Yucatan ends up, you know, going a lot of the time. But you, you'll get your you'll get your chance. I think you played great. You you repelled all of our night rushes nicely. Good night, um, good night, assassin. Good night, Pete. Good night, Christianatron. Let's see. Shamey, uh, Shamey, nineteen says Val calls it. It's game and action RTS. That doesn't mean it's a subgenre of RTS, however, that doesn't work for other games that don't approach Dota cloning in RTS fashion like Smite. I mean, yeah. It... Okay, so wait, no, that itself being a subgenre of RTS. Yeah, I mean, mobile games are similar to RTS games, but I wouldn't consider them a replacement or anything like that or an evolution of them. I just think they're fun games. See you, MTL McCav. See you, Memoriam. Good night, Crichton, Force Wizard. See you, Tough Man, Razzle Reap. See ya, Mothump, the Black Winds, Pete, Doc Paladin, the Toy, Fresh Princess, Mythology, Schmupster, Landerly, Furious Trombone, Operation Forge. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to run like an ad or two, and then I'm just going to go eat some dinner and then prep for tomorrow. Maybe play a little Heart of Thorns and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you all next time. Run a couple quick ads if you want to support the channel and give me like... A like the ridiculously tiny amount of ad revenue. I don't know. I'll just run like two. You leave them on the background while you grab your glass of water or whatever you do. I miss Warcraft 3 ugly. Alright, see you GZN61. Good night, everybody. Good night, Alpha. See you, Tobes. See you all tomorrow. Can't wait to do some co commentary with Zach. See you, Dark Paladin. Good night, Dirty Dirty Dragon, Hayden, and Boo. Alright, that's it. Alright. I'm gonna run a few ads and then I'm uh, off for the night.